Fentanyl use is on the rise throughout the United States, causing an unprecedented explosion of fatal overdoses. Fentanyl is one of the deadliest drugs on the market, and it is quickly becoming one of the most commonly found. Unfortunately, even though fentanyl is incredibly dangerous on its own, it is far more dangerous when it is mixed with other substances, especially alcohol. Why is mixing fentanyl and alcohol so dangerous? There are a number of reasons. Many of the effects of fentanyl and alcohol are synergistic, which means that the combined effects of the two drugs is greater than the sum of their effects of either alone. For example, both alcohol and fentanyl cause the user to think less clearly and lose inhibitions. The potential consequences of this can be very dire. For example, users may forget that they already use drugs and then give themselves an accidental overdose or they may suffer severe injury or death as the result of an accident, such as vein damage or infection from drunkenly using needles. Another example of the synergistic effects of alcohol and fentanyl. The two combine to create a very intense high. This feeling can be highly addictive and can cause dependency and full-blown addiction faster than is typical for either fentanyl or alcohol alone. Even worse, this poly drug addiction is likely to be substantially more severe and more challenging to treat. Both alcohol and fentanyl are depressants that slow down the mind and body. The combination of the two can cause potentially life-threatening complications. The combination of the two can cause potentially life-threatening complications. For example, the respiratory system slowing down so much that it ceases to provide the body with air, causing death. Mixing fentanyl and alcohol can also cause death from vomiting. This vomiting can be virtually continuous and can cause death by dehydration, but primarily from choking if a passed out person chokes to death on their own vomit. Some of the major consequences of mixing fentanyl and alcohol include irregular heartbeat, breathing difficulty, chest pain, nausea, vomiting, seizures, loss of coordination, reduced judgment and inhibitions, slurred speech, coma, overdose, and death. How do you treat alcohol and fentanyl? There are many different methods, each of which is more appropriate for different circumstances. The first thing to consider is the immediacy of the situation. Mixing alcohol and fentanyl is so dangerous that it can cause death in minutes, meaning emergency care may be necessary. If you or someone you love has mixed fentanyl and alcohol, you should contact emergency responders immediately if the following symptoms are present. Chest pain, slowed or difficult breathing, bluish lips and skin, seizures, passing out, and or coma. Emergency treatment for fentanyl and alcohol overdose can save lives. Medical personnel can provide medications such as Narcan, which can counteract a fentanyl overdose if administered in time. They can also provide other life-saving treatments such as stomach pumping, hydration with IVs, and physical restraints during seizures. Rapid treatment is the most important thing when treating fentanyl overdose or alcohol poisoning and will greatly increase the chances of survival. While emergency care is geared towards saving lives in the immediate situation, long-term treatment for fentanyl and alcohol abuse is geared towards helping a patient overcome addiction and giving them the tools to maintain sobriety, saving their life in the long term. Because both fentanyl and alcohol withdrawal can be extremely unpleasant and alcohol withdrawal can be deadly, it is highly recommended that treatment begin with a medically supervised detox. During detox, the patient is kept safe and comfortable so they enter sobriety in a good state of mind, ready to focus on treatment. Following detox, rehab is highly recommended. Fentanyl and alcohol rehab can either be inpatient or outpatient. While every program is different, inpatient rehab requires patients to stay at a residential facility while receiving treatment. Outpatient rehab requires patients to reside elsewhere and come to the treatment facility several days a week for a few days. Inpatient rehab is widely considered the option most likely to lead to successful treatment and lasting sobriety. However, outpatient rehab is generally considerably less expensive and allows patients to attend to personal, professional, and legal obligations. If you are considering enrollment into a fentanyl treatment program but want to know more about different rehab programs and facilities and how they could fit your needs, then check out the free resources offered by Better Addiction Care's team.
With our National Directory of Addiction Treatment Facilities, you can learn about the different locations that can be the home for recovery and sobriety and how the different programs offered can perfectly fit any personal preferences. If you want to learn more about our resources and how they can help you along the road to recovery, call our team at 1-800-429-7690 today.